This stuff looked really good. Um, you know, they had soft hit. Uh, I think both of them might have been with two strikes, so probably just didn't get the breaking ball out of the zone enough with two strikes. Um, and then the sack fly. So, but I mean, he was throwing the ball really well. Um, any thought to go into Barlow there in the ninth, but bottom of the order might have played into that? Yeah, where they were in the order and also, you know, what we thought we were trying to manage for the next few days as well. And, and Carlos' possibility of going multiple innings there, you know, and still get, if we get the lead at some point, Scotty would be in for sure. What did you see from Granke tonight? Yeah, more of the same, you know. I mean, he's he's incredible. He moves the ball around. Um, I was... I've been fascinated with that stat. He got his thousandth different player to strike out. To me, that's just unfathomable. Um, so I feel honored to have seen it, you know, and he's he does keep us in the game, you know, five solid innings. What does it say about him as a pitcher? I mean, obviously the longevity, but that stat in particular um, about what he's been able to do. You know, I can't really process it. You know, it's it, I've become... In, enthralled with that stat since they told us about it and it's just amazing to me to think about how many different people that is you know a thousand you know it's just a number right but when you think about how many different players that is over the course of 20 years is, or 19 years is amazing to me um, but what he's able to do is still adapt you know and he's still getting strikeouts with different pitches not throwing 95 locating mixing changing speeds it's it's pretty impressive see my yellow is took advantage of maybe two bad balls there, two home runs there. What did you see just from that perspective? Well, I'm pretty sure the one off Greinke was a 2-0 pitch. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> um, and they were both fastballs, I believe, because the Taylor one, I believe, was a 2-1 fastball. And I mean, Yelich is a great player. I mean, he's an MVP. At, um, so it's not surprising. I mean, it's disappointing for sure. But he's he's done that to a lot of people. Salvi clearly can see just fine. <laughs> I told him that was a blind homer, joking with him that he one-eyed homer. But, yeah, I mean, he's – what do you say about him? You know, and first at bat, base hit, catches a great game. You know, obviously the homer was huge for us. With Grinky, when he came back to the um, dugout and after that fifth inning, it seemed like he had a, a nice ovation from everyone in the locker room just to see the, the chemistry that his team has. That's got to be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of the guys – we're really excited to be part of it. You know, it is. It's special. I mean, you're witnessing. You don't want to take for granted that there's probably a future Hall of Famer that's towing the rubber for you every fifth day, you know. And it's easy to just get lost in the day-to-day. But the fact that these guys appreciate what he's done now, but over the course of his career, is really special.